Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the second question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24 Practice Questions for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section A, which is Multiple Choice Questions for one mark each. Now, this question belongs to the pair of linear equations in two variables. So, let us start with the question. The lines K1, K2 and K3 represent three different equations as shown in the graph below. So you can see here there are three lines k1, k2 and k3 and each one is being assigned with the particular equation. The solution of the equations represented by the lines k1 and k3 is x equal to 3 and y equal to 0. While the solutions of the equations represented by the lines k2 and k3 is x equal to 4 and y equal to 1. Which of these is the equation of the line k3? As we can see here from the graph, k3 is given as a general equation that is px plus qy equal to 1. Now we have to check out of these equations which equation represents the equation of the line k3. Now they have given some hints in the question to solve this example. As it is mentioned here that the solution of the equations represented by the line k1 and k3 is x equal to 3 and y equal to 0. Solution of the equation represents a point where the lines meet each other. So here we can see that k1 and k3 meet on the x-axis at this point. So this point has the coordinate x equal to 3 and y equal to 0. Similarly, it is mentioned that the solutions of the equations represented by the lines k2 and k3. That is, we have to see where the two lines intersect each other and they intersect at this point. And this intersecting point is given by the coordinate x equal to 4 and y equal to 1. So using these two ordered pairs or coordinates, we are going to find out the equation of the line k3. Now remember that any straight line is given by the standard equation y equal to mx plus c, where m represents the slope of the line and c represents the y-intercept. That is the point where the line cuts the y-axis. Now let us begin by first finding out the slope of the given line k3. So slope is represented by the formula m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now you can also write it as y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. Both are the formulae of the slope. Now here, I am going to consider this point 4, 1 as x2, y2. And I am going to consider 3, 0 as x1, y1. So let us substitute the values now in this formula. y2 is 1 and y1 is 0. So we will write here y2 is 1 minus y1 is 0 divided by x2 is 4 and x1 is 3. So let us write here 4 minus 3. So 1 minus 0 we get 1 divided by 4 minus 3 is 1. So we can see that our slope is equal to 1. So let us substitute the values in the standard equation now. So we get y equal to 1x which I am going to write it as just x plus c. Now c is the y-intercept which we need to find next. So using this equation now, y equal to x plus c, we will find out what is the y-intercept. Now to find out c, we are again going to make use of one of the given coordinates. Choose the easier one. I am going to use 3 comma 0. So here, let me take 3 comma 0 as my x and y value. Now I am going to substitute in place of y 0 and in place of x I am going to put 3 
plus C. So C is equal to 3 goes on other side of equal to sign and becomes negative 3. Which means now are this equation we are going to put C equal to negative 3. So we get Y equal to X minus 3. Now if we look at the options our X is always positive. So we are going to switch the positions of Y and negative 3. So let us take y on this side of equal to sign and negative 3 on this side of equal to sign. So we get negative 3 becomes positive 3. So 3 equals x stays positive and positive y goes on other side of equal to sign and becomes negative y. So we can write it as 3 equal to x minus y or we can just write it as x minus y equal to 3. So let us see in the options if we have x minus y equal to positive 3. So here we have our option A as x minus y equal to 3. So remember wherever they mention the solutions of the given lines it is the meeting point or intersecting point of the given lines. So considering that make use of the standard equation of the straight line y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and C is the y-intercept. Now when finding C, you can choose either of the two coordinates, either choose 3, 0 or 4, 1. You will be getting the same value of C. So once you get it, just substitute in the given equation and get the equation of the given line. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.